Hello students, it's day 5 for chapter measurement. The specific objective of today's topic is calculation of speed. So open page number 13 of your textbooks. Students, in previous lectures we have discussed measurement of area, measurement of volume, measurement of density. Now we are going to discuss speed. Now what is speed? When we talk about speed, we discuss that how much of distance is being covered by a body in a given interval of time. So, speed is defined as the distance travelled by a body in a given interval of time. So, here comes an expression for speed. Speed is equals to distance travelled over time taken. Now, next is SI unit of speed. Speed is equals to distance over time. SI unit of distance is meter. And SI unit of time is second. So, SI unit of speed is meter per second. You can write it as meter per second or ms raised to power minus 1. Now, next is types of speed. There are two types of speed. Uniform speed and non-uniform speed. Uniform as the name suggests constant. Uniform means constant. So we are going to discuss constant speed here. Let's discuss this with the help of an example. When a body is traveling from point A to D and body is moving from first A to B, then B to C, then C to D. The distance between each of them is 5 kilometers. From A to B it's 5 kilometers, B to C it's 5 kilometers, C to D again 5 kilometers. And it is covering the distance in 30 minutes in each case. That is from A to B 30 minutes, B to C 30 minutes, C to D again 30 minutes. So this body is covering equal distance that is 5 kilometers in equal intervals of time that is 30 minutes. So this body is moving with the uniform speed. So we can say that a body is moving with a uniform speed when it covers equal distances in equal intervals of time. For example, a car covers 5 meters in every 2 minutes. Now next type is non-uniform speed. There are two cases of non-uniform speed. Now first case, let the body is moving from point A to D. First moving from A to B, distance is 5 kilometers, B to C 5 kilometers, C to D again 5 kilometers. But the body is moving from point A to B in 30 minutes, B to C in 1 hour and C to D in again 30 minutes. So body is covering equal distances in unequal intervals of time then the body is said to be moving with non-uniform speed. Now students, see the second case. In this, when the body is moving from point A to D, the body is moving from first A to B, then B to C and then C to D. It is covering each distance in 20 minutes. But the distance from A to B is 3 kilometers B to C is 4 kilometers and C to D is 6 kilometers. So it is covering unequal distances. It was 3, 4 and 6. Unequal distances in equal intervals of time that is 20 minutes in each case. Then also the body is said to be moving with non-uniform speed. So we can say that a body is moving with a non-uniform speed when it covers unequal distances in equal intervals of time, unequal distances in equal intervals of time or when a body covers equal distances in unequal intervals of time. In both the cases, a body is moving with non-uniform speed. Example is a car on a busy road. Now next is calculation of speed. We will discuss this with the help of a numerical problem. A car travels 70 kilometers in 5 hours. 
calculate its speed we know the formula for speed that is speed is equals to distance over time putting the values of distance and time here distance is 70 km and time is 5 hours so it comes up as speed is equals to 70 upon 5 that is 14 km per hour now starting with the reading of page number 13 calculation of speed in our daily life we come across scenarios which give us a concept of fast and slow motion for example let us consider the motion of a cycle and a car when we talk about the motion of a cycle and a car a word comes into our mind that is speed we observe that the car travels faster than the cycle in turn we move slower than the cycle how do we compare these motions yes through speed how do we calculate exactly how fast the cycle and car travels again the word comes here is speed there is often a need to measure how much distance a body can cover in a given period of time this gives the definition of speed here when we talk about the motion of speed is defined as the distance traveled by a body in a given interval of time so this is how the term speed came into existence which is the measurement of distance covered per unit time this can also be marked as a definition that the measurement of the distance covered per unit time is called speed we know that the speed is given by the formula speed is equals to distance over time this comes from the definition itself that speed is equals to distance traveled over time taken it can be inferred from the above formula that to find out the speed of a body if we want to find the speed of a body what we need is distance and time yes we need to keep track of the distance covered by it and the time taken for the journey units of speed the si unit for the measurement of distance and time are meter and second for distance it is meter and time it is second respectively so the si unit for speed is meter per second however for measuring larger amounts of time we have units like minutes and hours similarly we often use kilometers and miles for larger distances depending on the usage we use several units for speed some of them are meter per second kilometer per hour miles per hour learning outcomes of today's topic are first speed and its si unit second is types of speed third is calculation of speed by the formula distance upon time